Hi everyone, welcome to my channel A4 Algorithm. As part of this video, we are going to discuss scientific question, which is very generally, very normally asked in, in interviews. So that question is, uh, find out if a tree is a binary search tree or not. In one of my previous videos, I had explained that what exactly is a binary search tree. If you are not aware what exactly is a binary search tree, please uh, see that video first. I have also shared the link to that video in the comment section or in the description of this video. So let us understand this question by an example. So we have this tree. If you see this tree, all the nodes on the left of the root have the value smaller than the root and all the nodes on the right of the root have value greater than the root. Same is true for all the nodes. If you go to root two having value two the left node has smaller value and right node has smaller value so people who are aware of this property of uh, binary search tree so their first intuition will be to write a solution something like this so let us see what we are doing here so we have created a function is bst and we are passing a node to that we are checking if the node exists then if the, the node doesn't exist then we return true we check if the left of that node exists, if there is a node on the left of that current node and the value in the left node is greater than the current node, then we return false. Same is done for the right side. If the value in the right side is greater than the right node is greater than the current node, then we return false. Then we divide the tree and we same thing we check for the left tree and same thing we check for the right tree. If both the trees are given, are returning as true, then we say that this is a binary search tree. In first instance, this solution looks a very good solution and very simple solution, an accurate solution, but uh, it is not a right solution. Let me show you by an example. So if you have a tree that looks like this, you notice here if I consider my root node on the left of my root node there is one node which has value greater than the root node so this is not a binary search tree but if I pass this tree to my this code it will satisfy all the conditions and it will return me true so this code is not of much use for us during interview it will be a wrong answer now how should we find out now our job is to find out a solution which is right. Okay, so let's imagine this thing. So the problem here is that we are only comparing the child nodes with the, with the current node. What we should actually do is that we should compare the child nodes with all the nodes on the left side and the right side node should be compared with all the nodes on the right side including the root. Same is true for the left node also. So what I'm trying to say in simple words is that rather than comparing 4 with 2, we should compare 4 with 3 also. We should compare it with the range rather than comparing with only the root. So here I have already created a solution for you guys. Let us go to the solution. So what I am doing here is that I have created a node class. This class has a data element, a reference to the left element, left node and reference to the right node. Now I have created a function is BST which is going to help me find out if a tree is binary search tree or not. Now if we see in earlier solution we were comparing our left node with the current 
data node and write node with the current nodes data. Now here I am comparing my node with the a minimum value and with a maximum value. So I get a node. In beginning the minimum value and maximum value should be two extremes. If the node is not there then I simply return true. If the node is there then I check the current node should have value less than mini, should not have value less than mini and uh, it should have should not have value greater than max. If any of this condition is not satisfied I return false then I check on the left tree and then I check on the right tree by updating the min and max. How do I update the min? For the left tree I keep the min same and I make the max as the root. For the right tree I keep the max as same and I keep on updating the minimum value. So this is how I doing. So let us run this code. Okay, I had created a root and on the left side I had uh, given some values. Left node was 2 and right node was 5 and left of left was 1 and right was 3. So let me draw this for you. So this was the input. This was the input and uh, it correctly returned me that this is a BST tree, binary search tree. Now if I change the inputs, if I make the left as 3 and right as 5, this is not a binary search tree. If I give this as input, I am getting that this is not a binary search tree. So my solution is right here. Now uh, there is a better way of doing it. So let us discuss that. So binary search tree has a property that if we traverse the tree in an in order fashion, then all the elements should be sorted. So I have created this solution for you here. So same as the previous solution, I have created a node class and rather than maintaining the whole list and checking if the whole list is sorted, I am just maintaining the previous element in the tree. If I am on the current node and I am parsing a tree in a in order manner the binary search tree says that the previous node should be smaller than the current node. So this is the property that I have used here. So what I am doing here is I am rather than maintaining min and max, I am maintaining only a single variable that is previous. I check if my left tree, first of all I check if my left tree is binary, uh, binary search tree by passing it previous. Then I check the current node should 
if the current node has the value less than the previous node, previously traversed node, then I will return false. If the current node has the value greater than the previous node, then I simply print it. Then I update the previous node before going to the next node through in order traversal. Same thing I do on the right side of the binary search tree. So it, it is called in a recursive manner. If you see here, I'm creating a tree and then it is returning me that it's a binary search tree. For a tree, if it is not binary search tree, it is returning me false. So thank you guys. Uh, hope you liked the video. Please share your comments. You know, any improvements that I can make, uh, you know, in, in helping you understand these concepts. I'm going to upload these solutions on my GitHub code, GitHub repository, and share that code uh, as a link uh, in this description of this video. Please subscribe to the channel and keep sharing that what are the more questions I can help you solve, you know, uh, which will help you in interviews. Thank you.